Hi, this is Scott Kilo, Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, I wanted to talk about a new, um, I guess you can call it technological capability that I'm going to be bringing to my reviews. Um, I have noticed over the past several months now, with each radio review that I do, the topic of spurious emissions comes up more and more frequently. And that's that's a good thing. Um, now, my channel doesn't really cater to the technical side of radio. I All of my reviews, I look at radios as just a, a basic radio operator, end user type guy, and I give you my impressions of the radio and how it works for me and whether or not in my opinion, it's it's good to go for uh, outdoors use or MCOM, et, et cetera. So that's always been my perspective that I review radios from, and I don't really get too terribly technical. But the subject of spurious emissions is indeed a, a very important thing factor when you're considering purchasing a radio. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with what spurious emissions are, I think we all kind of know that, but I'll just mention that what a spurious emission is, is when you transmit on your fundamental frequency, if you start doubling that, um, and, and they're called harmonics, uh, following the fundamental frequency, you get your th second, third, and fourth harmonic, and, and essentially all you're doing is you're just doubling that frequency each time. Um, and what can happen is if the radio is not manufactured properly, while you're transmitting on your fundamental frequency, you could your transmissions could be heard or be interfering with uh, frequencies uh, and operations, or rather operations on those frequencies that you're totally unaware of. So making sure that your radio is free from spurious emissions um, as much as possible is, is an important factor to consider. And I, I love the fact, like I said, that this has trickled down to the basic radio operator community because in the past it was mainly just something that your more seasoned and experienced radio operators would bring up. And oftentimes, you know, they would mention that in terms of the cheap Chinese radio market because that's something that they are notorious for is producing radios that have really poor spurious emissions. Um, and there's a testing standard for that, and the FCC testing standard for transceivers under 25 watts is uh, the radio has to be free from spurious emissions, um, or the spurious emissions need to be 40 dB below the fundamental frequency. So you're looking for anything, you know, anything less than 40, um, you're going to be approaching territory where you will be uh, creating interference on other channels, so, or rather other frequencies. So what I've done is I obtained a spectrum analyzer, and what I got was a tiny SA Ultra, and I bought the I bought the full uh, full on two hundred and fifty one dollars and ninety nine cent package, which included the tiny SA Ultra, which is their their latest spectrum analyzer, as well as a uh, a thirty dB twenty five watt um, attenuator to go with that. And I'll, I'll mention this real quick: if you're a person who's thinking about obtaining a spectrum analyzer, something that they do not mention um, and they do not stress hard enough is that you you need to accompany that with an attenuator and I, I see these things being sold and people are just plugging radios into them and if you plug a radio directly into this without the use of an attenuator and you put too strong a signal through this you will smoke this thing almost immediately uh, and that's kind of an irresponsible thing to if I was him I would only sell the spectrum analyzer with an attenuator. I wouldn't make it an add-on feature. And like, you know, if, if you're not, and, and that's about the only advice I'm going to give you on buying one of these. Um, I'm going to include, I'm going to include links in the description so you can see the equipment that I'm using. Uh, if you're interested in what I'm using, this is of course nowhere near as capable as a, you know, a $6,000 bench uh, spectrum analyzer. Um, it's it's a tiny unit to be used in a the field. They're they're accurate enough to give you a good ballpark estimate. Um, they're limited, of course, because you know it's a two hundred and fifty one dollar piece of equipment. Uh, so it's not going to give you. Um, I don't think it's going to give you a a, a reading as accurate. Um, as something more sophisticated is going to, but like I said, it's it's a good piece of field equipment. They're well regarded, and I've talked to a bunch of folks about this and determined that yeah, th this is this is a good piece of testing equipment. At least it's what I can afford. How about that? Um, but for what it is, 
it gets the job done. Beyond that, I'm not going to promote this uh, particular product. Um, you can obviously see the name of it and there will be a link in the description, but I flat do not care if you buy this one or buy it from another uh, vendor because the, the company that, it, that markets this on Amazon, there's other companies that market it as well. The problem is there's a lot of counterfeit operations involved. There's, there's a lot of, a lot of weirdness uh, happening there. Um, but I also have a real beef with the marketing company that, um, that works for this particular vendor on this spectrum analyzer. So uh, that beef has nothing to do with the quality of the instrument, the accuracy of the instrument. Um, it's fine. I, I have no problem with it. It is definitely working for me. I just I just got beef with the marketing company, and I'll I'll leave that I'll leave that one alone right there. I don't really want to comment or talk about it. But I'm not going to do any how-to videos on this. There are some pretty good channels out there um, that really do deep dives into this and show you how to show you how to work with it. I'm really not that interested in actually doing any promotional work for this uh, this company I'll just say it works and it, it, it worked for me and I'm getting I'm getting results that compare to what other people are getting so we're good to go but moving forward as I said all reviews I'm going to do it um, I'm going to talk at some point about uh, whether or not the the radio is dirty or clean uh, and what I mean by that is whether it meets standards or, or doesn't meet standards and beyond that that'll be about it um, but I I will make sure that I mention that on every radio I review and I'm going to go back and talk about some radios that I've reviewed in the past and determine whether or not they're clean or dirty. So with that, I'll, I'll bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.